It is Monday, August 18th, 2025. Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I don't want to waste your time, so let's get right to it watching this. This is powerful Hurricane Aaron. Winds right now at 130 miles per hour, so about 210 kilometers an hour. Those are the hurricane sustained winds, and we are seeing those tropical storm winds. I was checking in for us in the Turks and Caicos and the southeastern Bahamas. As expected, the tropical storm conditions have moved in. Uh, some of the winds have been around 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers an hour. We are thinking of you if you're dealing with these rain bands uh, in the tropical storm conditions throughout the day, uh, extreme southeastern and southern uh, sections of the Bahamas back through the Turks and Caicos. No doubt heavy weather over the next about 12 to 16 hours before this continues to make more of that turn uh, toward the northwest and then eventually to the north. Now in this video, I want to track this start to finish. That is my promise to you. I don't want to leave anyone hanging uh, with a, a major hurricane like this powerful system. So I'll track it all the way up to the north, but I also want to swing into the Caribbean, a new area we are watching. We are now in monitor mode in parts of the Caribbean. So I know this video is going to, it's going to get a little bit bouncy, but uh, thank you for your patience. So out here, here's Aaron right near the Bahamas, right near the Turks and Caicos. It did take the turn we were talking about yesterday. And then you see out here a lot of disturbed weather, right? We have this blob here. It's really kind of north of it. There's a little bit of a spin here. Uh, Cabo Verde, we saw some of the heavy weather, some of the uh, uh, downpours moving off. This is the area we're watching that will approach us in the Caribbean as we work our way into later this week. So this new area, once it gets to us, in the Caribbean. There should be some development with it. I'm not sure yet how much because you could see it out there. I just showed you. It's, kind of, it's very disorganized right at this point. So I need another day to kind of get a good handle on how much it will develop before it moves into us uh, in parts of the Caribbean. The American model, once it moves near the eastern and northeastern Caribbean, has this as a tropical depression. That is one step lower than a tropical storm. Then you'd have a hurricane. Tropical depression doesn't have a name, but once it becomes a tropical storm, it gets one. The European model does not have this as a uh, tropical storm as it approaches uh, the uh, Caribbean. The Canadian model does though, and the ICON model has no storm. And it's common to see this kind of disparity uh, with the models this early with watching a system that hasn't even developed at all. But this is the spot we're watching. With that said, across the uh, Eastern Caribbean from Barbados, St. Lucia North, we are now in monitor mode. Again, that doesn't mean we are taking action, right? But I do appreciate you spreading the word about this. Uh, all eyes are on Aaron as they should be, but I never want to lose sight of other things that are happening. So if you could spread the word, there's another system we're watching, or at least another area we're watching, I'll put it that way, that will gradually develop. Either way, Friday into the weekend, it looks like we'll see a higher chance of rain moving in. I'll be monitoring the development very closely. But St. Lucia, Barbados North, right through Anguilla at this point, uh, that's where we are now in monitor mode. So again, thank you for sharing this information. We're not taking action, right? I'll give you the heads up. If I think this is going to spin up into a tropical storm or hurricane earlier, I will let you know with advance warning. We are in monitor mode in these uh, locations at this point. So what I want to do is I want to get back to that with the American model and the European model. I will show you that in a minute. I mentioned this video is getting a little bouncy. I want to jump back to this, right? Because the immediate concern is no doubt Aaron with uh, the uh, impacts in the Turks and Caicos and southeastern Bahamas making that curve. It is making that turn still looking to be in between uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina and Bermuda. Now, this is a large system. It has slowed a little bit too. So the time frame I've uh, slowed up because the system looks like a, a little bit slower as it makes its uh, turn. But the core of the hurricane wind should be to the west of Bermuda, to the east of North Carolina. That's where the hurricane winds look to be by Wednesday, sitting over the water right where we want them, but still has a major hurricane in a large system. So I do expect high beach erosion in the Outer Banks. We're looking at Duck, Kerala, uh, Hatteras. So giving you that heads up across the Outer Banks of North Carolina, some substantial erosion. Of course, those seas are going to be absolutely wild. As we work our way toward Bermuda, the hurricane conditions should be off toward the west. But you can see the wind field on this, this orange shading 
Those are the tropical storm winds just clipping the southeastern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos now. So Bermuda, we may be on the edge of trouble. We will at least be on the edge of some tropical storm conditions as we work our way into Wednesday and Wednesday night. The system gets larger, heaviest weather to the west, danger seas, very high seas, but we are still in monitor mode in Bermuda. Then we swing back toward the Avalon Peninsula, Newfoundland, uh, Friday into the upcoming weekend, uh, really Friday into Saturday. It's going to be a close approach. The worst weather should be just to the south and east, so we are not in action mode. We are in monitor mode. The seas are going to be a mess, uh, but tomorrow, if this looks like it's going to be a little bit closer to, say, the Avalon Peninsula, we'll go into action mode, but uh, I value your uh, uh, lives, no doubt, uh, but time, property, uh, resources, all of that, so we are holding in monitor mode right now based on what I'm seeing from what I've been tracking overnight and this morning. And you can see the modeling on this. Here's Bermuda, Outer Banks of North Carolina. It has started to take that turn, then eventually to the north, but a large system. And that's why I mentioned the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Some gusty winds could see a few rain bands working in, right? Uh, but the erosion, the high seas, a big issue. And then swinging around here south of Nova Scotia, of course, we've been dealing with the fires in the Atlantic region of uh, Canada. It has been so dry. It looks like a lot of this rain will miss to the south, but monitoring closely as we get toward uh, Newfoundland and the uh, Avalon Peninsula here uh, as we work our way toward the end of the week, Friday into Saturday. Now, as far as the strength goes, this thing is going to hold right around major hurricane status for a couple days as it continues to make its turn. This is a day out, two days out, three days out. Once we get past three days, there's going to be some weakening as it lifts in latitude, as it moves to the north, it encounters cooler water, so we'll get some gradual weakening. But even as it gets closer to the Atlantic region of Canada, it's going to be powerful. That's why I'm cautioning, yes, monitor mode now, but if I see any shifts in this and he changes in what I'm seeing in the environment, I will let you know and then we'll go into action mode. So here it is again, Turks and Caicos, southeastern Bahamas, as I've been mentioning yesterday and again this morning, we're going to deal with those tropical storm conditions wrapping in. Even some of those bands may clip us in the central Bahamas, incredibly dangerous seas. Then as we work our way into tomorrow, you can see all of this, the heaviest weather, could see a few outer rain bands, but the heaviest weather off to the east of the Bahamas. By Wednesday, here are the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Here's a Bermuda right here, a huge system. You see how wide it gets, uh, 500 miles wide, but the core of the hurricane winds, those are less than that. In some of the yellows you're seeing here, and in, in particular, some of the reds, that's where the hurricane stuff is. So this is Wednesday afternoon. You see it kind of splitting uh, North Carolina and Bermuda. So again, this is Wednesday afternoon, just widening out the uh, picture here, Outer Banks of North Carolina, Carolina, there's Bermuda, and the core of the hurricane winds looks to move right in between. That's exactly where we like it over the waters, but since it's so large, may get clipped by an outer rain band or two, outer banks of North Carolina, and then again Bermuda, especially on Thursday as this lifts to the north, those outer rain bands, the feeder bands, may clip us in Bermuda with some gustier winds, and then the winds are going to definitely be gusty, and then you could see Friday into a Saturday, monitoring just how close this gets to a Newfoundland, you see the the core of this, most of the modeling, European model as well, has most of it to the southeast of uh, the Avalon Peninsula, but it is very close. We are in monitor mode, of course, uh, watching that as it evolves Friday into Saturday. Tomorrow, if we need to go into action mode, I'll give you that heads up. Here's that expanding wind field. As it turns and it lifts in latitude, the winds actually will widen out, right? The hurricane winds, though, missing the uh, Bahamas. You see the core of those, those brighter colors. This here is by Wednesday. Outer Banks of North Carolina, very gusty winds uh, and watching that heavy beach erosion in some spots, the coastal overwash, coastal flooding, no doubt, uh, parts of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And then the kind of the backside flow in Bermuda as we work our way into Thursday, we'll have the winds gusting 50 miles per hour, up to 80 kilometers an hour. Uh, hurricane winds should hopefully be just to the west and then to the north. And then you can see here as we get toward Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, all of this is going to stay to the south of East uh, in East, same thing, Prince Edward Island, but keeping an eye on some of those winds, at least some strong winds late Friday into Saturday, uh, swinging back toward the extreme eastern uh, uh, region of the uh, uh, Atlantic region of Canada. You see that uh, wind field right there, but that would keep the core of the winds just off to the south and east. Okay. 
I think we covered that, right? And I will watch for any changes. Now let's switch back to this. Here we are in the Caribbean in monitor mode again, Anguilla back through Barbados. Here is Aaron. We're watching this activity out here for the potential of some development. As of now, the development looks slow, which is good. Uh, but we have seen these things really build quickly and we'll talk about those water temperatures in just a second. So here's the American model. Then I'll show you the uh, European model. Here we are. We get back toward Dominica, Barbados, uh, Trinidad, Trinidad down the road. It looks like all of this would stay to the uh, north. But watching right here, you can see this is by Wednesday. This is the spot we're watching. Then as we work our way into Thursday, in particular Thursday night, very close to Barbados, uh, Thursday night, we should see some of that at least rain moving in Dominica. Guadalupe, Martinique, some rain will be on the edge of it in St. Lucia. But the American model starts to develop this potentially into a tropical depression uh, before it moves in. That would bring us, if this pans out, this would bring us some gusty winds, tropical storm-like conditions, parts of the eastern and northeastern Caribbean as we work our way uh, into Thursday night and in particular on Friday. And then watching another tropical wave that the models are trying to develop. So this is one scenario here. And again, I got you covered. If I see this becoming a tropical storm before it moves into our islands, I will give you that heads up in the next video. If I need to do uh, additional videos, I will. I got you covered right here. So again, thank you for spreading the word about this uh, new potential uh, system. Here we are in the Caribbean. This here is the European model. There is Erin, which we just covered. So here we are, Barbados, Trinidad, uh, Antigua, and Barbuda, uh, St. Kitts and uh, Nevis. We swing over here. High pressure is the blocker to the north. That allows this area to move to the west. Now, a weaker system, a system that doesn't develop much, is more likely just to continue to the west. A stronger system like Aaron is more likely to shoot up to the north. So as this stays just kind of weak over the next couple of days, this is by Wednesday, it's going to continue to move to the west. That's why this one is more likely uh, to basically move into the northeastern or eastern Caribbean. Uh, as far as the strength of it goes, again, to be determined as of now, the European model is not showing much development, at least in the short term by Thursday, but it is showing by Friday some of that additional rain and just starting to see some of that development on Friday, but a better chance of rain by the time we get into Friday with this area moving into the eastern and northeastern Caribbean, and then we'll watch that new next tropical wave back behind it. But the European model does swing this a little bit more uh, toward the west-northwest. The American model is a little bit more toward the west, but if it stays kind of weak, it could just shoot right into uh, the uh, Caribbean. But either way, I do expect some development out of this. That is why we are in monitor mode. And this is the issue I'm watching. We know the water temperatures are warm, but they're warm and deep. So as this area gets closer to us in the Caribbean, the water temperatures only get warmer. And I know the models sometimes don't really see what's going on in the environment. We saw that with Aaron, how quickly it got stronger. That's why I, pr I promise I, I'm watching this nonstop. If this looks like it will develop into a tropical storm or hurricane before we get into, before this approaches the Caribbean, I'll let you know. But that is exactly why we're in modern mode and exactly why I appreciate you just sharing the awareness about this potential system, right? We're in monitor mode now, and I can't stress that enough. So I really want you to uh, help get the word out, but also mention in a measured way that, do that doesn't mean we're in action mode, but we do need to spread the word because if this, say by tomorrow, it looks like it's going to spin up uh, into something stronger, I would let you know that we do need to take uh, some uh, action. So I got us covered, right? All right, look at these swells that are building. We get back to this uh, behind, just incredibly dangerous seas. We know about this. East coast of the United States, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Bermuda, get over toward uh, the uh, Maritimes, uh, New England, huge seas. This will stay to the south and east of uh, uh, Cape Cod, uh, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard, but just massive seas. This here is by Friday in the core of this six, seven meters. We're talking 40 feet in some spots, dangerous swells, huge areas of erosion uh, that we're going to be seeing for a large, large area. Now, let's go on time here back through the uh, Caribbean. As we go throughout the day, some spotty showers and storms, that's generally 
generally it. Jamaica, we're going to have a hit or miss shower storm. Belize, we could have one or two. All eyes have been on Aaron, and then they will shift off toward the east. As we work our way tomorrow into Wednesday, same thing. Spotty shower storm around, but then watching this, this is the American model showing that by uh, Thursday night, that's when we could see some of this rain moving in with the potential of a developing system. And you see it there. Uh, if this works out, or not works out, that's kind of not great wording. If this looks like uh, the American model by the time we get into the end of the week, that would bring us some tropical storm conditions right into parts of the Caribbean and that's what I'm tracking for you. Now, as we look at the uh, rain totals, been watching the uh, Turks and Caicos. I mentioned a couple days ago that where we would get those tropical storm conditions, four inches of rain or 100 millimeters of rain plus, that is what we're seeing. We're thinking of you in the Turks and Caicos this morning in southeastern Bahamas with uh, not only the heavy wind, but also the uh, heavy uh, rain amounts that we'll be watching out for. Elsewhere, kind of hit or miss. Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, with all of this to the north, that could feed in a little more moisture. We may get some spots getting about three inches of rain or 75 uh, millimeters of rain. But then we swing through Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Bart's, uh, south, not as much. Uh, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, rain chance staying low, not too high as well. Suriname, Guyana, uh, still watching western Panama, parts of Costa Rica, especially the Pacific side. Higher chances of rain. This little spot in here too. Interior Honduras, western Nicaragua, El Salvador. Some additional rain totals over 75 millimeters of rain. Most of this back toward uh, the western sections of uh, Mexico and then some scattered areas of rain and storms elsewhere across the southern and southeastern uh, United States. So Jamaica, we have a 40% chance of some showers and storms today. A 20% chance tomorrow in the Cayman Islands. 30 to 40% chance in Trinidad and Tobago. Our rain chance is not too high. Uh, high. Barbados on the low side, all eyes on what is going on off toward the uh, east. St. Lucia rain chance 30%. Again, Barbados, St. Lucia north. We are in monitor mode now. 20 to 30% chance in Grenada, 20 to 30% chance back through St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance isolated in Martinique. Rain chance staying low as well in Dominica. Only a 30% chance, 30 to 40% chance as we get back through Guadeloupe. Rain chance staying on the low side. We swing to the north. Uh, we continue you in monitor mode here in Tiga and Barbuda, 30 to 40 percent chance. We were just in monitor mode for Aaron. Now we are in monitor mode for that new area uh, off the uh, coast of Africa. St. Kitts and Nevis, we're in monitor mode. Rain chance about 30 percent, 30 to 40 percent chance. Anguilla, St. Bart, St. Martin, St. Bastatia, all in monitor mode. Puerto Rico, 40% chance of some scattered areas of rain and storms. That could lead to some additional flooding, especially in the wake of what we saw with Aaron. Same thing, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Bahamas, of course, it's split. All eyes on the southeastern Bahamas for us for the tropical storm conditions. Hurricane conditions, though, staying off toward the east. Turks and Caicos, the tropical storm conditions as we go over the next about 12 to 16 hours since this has slowed a little bit. The Dominican Republic, 40% chance of rain, 40% chance of some showers and storms today in Haiti, 20 to 30% chance staying kind of low in Belize. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, rain chance staying on the low side, about a 20% chance of a shower, 40% chance the next two days in Guyana, 30% chance you see how it's down in Suriname as we work our way back toward Cuba. Isolated shower storm, 60 to 70% chance Costa Rica, Panama, 40% chance the next couple of days in Nicaragua, and a 30% chance the next couple of days on Honduras. Western zones though, the rain chance is higher. Guatemala and El Salvador, some flooding will be possible. Staying active, 50% chance Mexico City, 30% chance across the Yucatan Peninsula, 40 to 50% chance in Northern Colombia, 40 to 50% chance in building in Northern Venezuela, and in Bermuda, of course, watching Wednesday. Hurricane conditions should be off toward the west, but we may get clipped by some tropical storm conditions, at least high seas, and some of those gustier winds that will be around. We are in monitor mode. So Hurricane Aaron is turning high and dangerous seas. Now we're in monitor mode, not for Hurricane Aaron, but for that next system uh, in the Atlantic. We are now in monitor mode in parts of the eastern Caribbean. I'm closely watching for development. Aaron is out there now. The next name on the list is Ferdinand. So thank you for your trust spreading the word. Have a good start to your week.